Thanks for watching Captain Willie's Fishing Adventures. Um, cruising down the river, and all of a sudden, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, started running really bad. Um, got it back here to the house and trying to figure out what's going on, and I found the problem. So I know this looks complicated, but it's really not. Let me give you the let me give you the rundown here. So this thing is the CDI box. This thing is a rectifier. Up inside of there is your stator. And where these wires go to the twisty deal, it's the it's a trigger. So these green wires, it's all labeled in here with letters and numbers and stuff. These green wires are to the coils. Okay. And these wires uh, in between the coils are the triggers that's to let the coil you know get the get the good stuff and these posts are from the stator so basically you've got think of the stator as an alternator okay the stator is kicking some juice a lot of juice into these terminals and also into the rectifier here this is kind of like your uh this changes the voltage from AC to DC because all stators, well, most stators uh, on this kind of stuff is AC and this changes it to DC. So, for example, if you're only running on battery voltage, you're not getting any sort of charge out of the motor, it's either this thing or one of these wires is broken or you have a bad stator. You can test from there. So, my problem was that I lost spark on both cylinders three and four. Um, so what I did was I moved one of these coil wires over to another terminal, basically swapped three and four, and then I had spark on three. So I knew that I was getting juice out of these two posts, out of cylinders one and two terminals, but I wasn't getting any juice out of cylinders three and four terminals to the coils, but that also told me that the coils were good. Long-winded, I know. So, uh, so what I did was I tested voltage coming from the stator, you know, tested on these terminals. Basically the red ones, you're gonna have like 30 or so volts, AC, and the blue ones, you're gonna have like 180 volts, AC. So right around there. I mean, you can, one, you know, 130 is still good. So, so I knew I had good juice coming in. I just wasn't getting anything out of these two. Why two failed at the same time? That tells me something's up with the trigger. So I did some testing on these wires. So this is the uh, cylinder number two's trigger and this is cylinder number three's trigger. So I swapped them. Now, when I swapped them, you know, basically triggering cylinder number three with the cylinder number two's wire. And then I had spark on cylinder number three. So now you know how it works. Since I moved these and the spark moved, that tells me there's a problem with the trigger or the wires from the trigger. If, if I swap the trigger to a certain particular cylinder and that cylinder is still dead, even though it has good trigger, then the CDI box is bad. CDI box, yeah, they fail, but not terribly often. The number one failure is either broken wires or bad stator. I mean, that stuff kind of fails. You know, you can count on buying one every, every 10 years or so. It depends on how hard you run it, but or how often, I should say, how many hours. But, uh... Yeah, so this box, I pulled it off of there just to take a look at it. It's from 09. Somebody has previously replaced it. And the stator I had to change last year. So I knew that those two things were halfway new. Um, I know 09 is not all that new. That was eight years ago. But uh, So I did some swapping and problem is in these wires. So I started digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And this brown wire up inside of there is broken. It's broken, 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 broken. So brown wire's prop found it's broken up there so I'm gonna rip all that off repair the broken wire with a you know what and uh, retest 